Good morning. Today we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Lent. Please take a moment to silence your cell phones and any other electronic devices now before Mass begins. The readings for today can be found at 1028-1028 in the back of the hymnal, number 1028. Father Gias will be our presider. Please join in singing the refrain of the time of fulfillment. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit. If only the spirit of God dwells in you, whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if the Christ is in you, although the body is dead, because of sin. The spirit is alive because of the righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give the light to your mortal bodies also through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, this illness is not the end in death, to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said, I know that he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to him, untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Now I'd like to invite all our children to come forward. Oh, 
have been passed through. Okay. When I was preparing for the gospel reading, uh, to what to speak about, about the gospel reading today, I was struggling a little bit. It's not easy. As you heard the story, the story about Lazarus and being brought back to life. And I said, ah, now all of a sudden I had an idea. I said, maybe I can get and make the kids understand what this is all about. Just by asking one question. Okay. Who plays video games? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Except for the little ones. There are a few little ones. Okay. Can you give me some games, one by one, that you play? Okay. 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 Okay, Star Wars. Okay, flag painting. Okay. Need for speed. I'm I'm waiting for an answer that that um, recalls what I used to play as a young younger kid. The the one that say dun 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 dun. Ah, ah, ah! Yes, what do you? Yes, oh, everybody knows Mario, right? Do you know Mario? Is he super? I think he is super, right? Oh, he's so tiny, but then he becomes super every so often. What? When does he become super? What's the goal? It's an old game. This is the only game that I know. Okay. Yes. What's that? Okay, but, but what happens when... What, what does he do? Like, what they... What does he eat? Or like, kind of touch? Yes. So mushrooms, right? You have a superstar, yes. And then what happens? He becomes like... Dun, 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 and then becomes big, yes. I like this, this, the sound effects of that. But what happens if he gets beaten by, by something or like something catches him? He what? He, he dies. And then what happens? What's that? Is that the sound effect of that? What is the sound effect? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ding, 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 ding. No, that's the when. No, when it dies. Wang, wang, wang. Whatever. Okay, but it dies, right? So when it dies, is it the end of it? Ah. What happens? Is it like when you're dead? That's it. No more game. No. Well, you, you get what happens. You get smaller again, but then you start again, right? There's a new life again. Normally, how many lives do you get? Three. Normally, three. And then after three, what do you do? Do you get another? Do, do you throw away the game and that, that's it? No. What happens? You get another three, right? You, became, you come back to life, Mario comes back to life. Okay, now, now here you go. Here's the question, because the gospel reading today, when you heard what you heard, Lazarus passed away, and then he was already in the tomb for four days, and then what happens? Jesus brings him back to life. 
That is the reading that we have today. And in fact, it's connected to, to what we have as part of the third scrutiny which we, which, which we have. Lie. Your name again. Lie. Lie. Lie is going to receive the sacraments of initiation on Easter Vigil. And part of what she's receiving actually is new life. Because I think that is what we get even, even Super Mario. When you, when you die and then you have an opportunity to, again, to get superpowers. Right? Certain powers that you get. What powers that, does Mario have? Like, I don't know what you said. Okay, like to, to run faster. Doesn't, doesn't he run faster? But what, what do you do for you to get your superpower? Do you just sit there and then it comes to you? What happens? You have to hit the blocks. There is a way for us to get superpowers as well, you know. Us Christians. There is a way for us to get superpowers as well. What are we celebrating right here? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Well, St. Patrick say yes. <laughs> but right here. Yes. Lent, yes. Yeah, Lent as well. But today, right here, where we are, what are we celebrating? The Holy the Holy Spirit. You. Yeah, who said that? Yes. Holy? No, no. Holy U Eucharist. Eucharist. The Holy Eucharist. That is what we're celebrating here. In fact, every time we receive any of the sacraments, there is a grace and a superpower that we receive. When we get baptized, we get new life. When we get confirmed, we get the Holy Spirit. When we receive the Eucharist, we receive Jesus and that superpower. Right? When we go to confession, what happens? Who, who did their confessions already? Can I see? Who did their confessions? Yes, a couple. Some of them are, some of you are still preparing to do that. But when you, when you go for confessions, likewise, you get another power, another grace, and God's mercy and forgiveness. So that's what we are being reminded today. The superpowers that God gives us. I'll go back to our celebration. Today we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Could you give me some signs of St. Patrick? Yes. I think I know a lot about St. Patrick. Okay, name me a few. If you say St. Patrick's, what, are you, what do you recall? What color? Yes, in... in Uh, in, in, okay, all right. What else? What color? What color is St. Patrick? Do you think, what, why do we have green for St. Patrick? Look, look at what, the, what you're wearing, but that's not exactly, yes, the, the shirt. What, what kind of leaf is it? A clover. How many petals is the clover? Mm. Normally, what St. Patrick's has is three. Why three? Why three? Oh, my gosh. To explain the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. The Trinity. The Holy Trinity. And remember always this. What St. Patrick's did is to remind us of a new life that God gives to us in the Holy Trinity when we pray to the Trinity. And I think that's what we're doing today. Coming together, celebrating the Holy Eucharist, being reminded that we were baptized, given superpower in our baptism, and that's what we're preparing for the candidate who's going to be baptized coming Easter Vigil. Can we end this with a prayer? Yes? All right, we end it with the reminder for us of the three-leaf clover. 
which is the Trinity, we do the sign of the cross. And we say, where, where's your right hand? Show me your right hand. Show me your right hand. Right hand. The other hand. The other right. Okay? Can you show me your right hand? Y yes, your right hand. Make the sign of the cross. Can we make the sign of the cross? Right hand. Okay. <laughs> make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Can we say it together one more time? Say it, let's say it together. Together. In the name of the Father. Today, repeat after me. Today, on the Feast of St. Patrick, dear God, we ask you to inspire us always to live in the Spirit. And to be reminded of the new life that you give us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everyone. You can go back to your seats. I now invite Lai with um, her godparent to come forward and stand before the altar rail. Today the church calls Lai to conversion to deepen her resolve to hold fast to Christ and to carry out the decision to love God above all. Let us pray at this time in silence for her to be given a spirit of repentance, a sense of sin, a strength of will, to live in true freedom as a child of God. My dear Lai, I invite you to join our prayers with this community of faith and to kneel as we intercede to God on your behalf. Let us pray for Lai, whom God has chosen. May the grace of the sacraments conform her to Christ in his passion and resurrection and enable her to triumph over the bitter fate of death. God, parent, please place your right hand on the shoulder of the elect. Our response today will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That faith may strengthen her against worldly deceits of every kind. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that she may always thank God, who has chosen to rescue her from her ignorance of eternal life and to set her on the way of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the example and prayers of catechumens who have shed their blood for Christ may encourage this elect in her hope of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That she may have a horror of sin which distorts life let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are saddened by the death of family or friends may find comfort in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we too at Easter may again be confirmed in our hope of rising to new life with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the whole world which God has created in love may flower in faith and charity and so receive new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all our dearly departed loved ones may enjoy peace and eternal rest in the presence of the risen Christ. For the recently deceased, Lois Biscardi, Mary Ann Mann, Margaret E. Duffy, Josephine Betetto, and Michael Hayes, and especially for Alf O'Donovan, let us pray to the Lord. For all our special intentions that we mention now in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord.
Father of life and God, not of the dead but of the living, you sent your Son to proclaim life, to snatch out from the realm of death, and to lead us to the resurrection. Free life from the death-dealing power of the spirit of evil, so that she may bear witness to her new life in the risen Christ, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord Jesus, by raising Lazarus from the dead, you show that you came, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Free from the grasp of death those who await your life-giving sacraments and deliver them from the spirit of corruption. Through your spirit who gives life, fill them with faith, hope, and charity, that they may live with you always in the glory of your resurrection for your Lord forever and ever. Amen. My dear lie, the Lord raised Lazarus from the dead as a sign that he has come to give us life in full measure. May you learn to trust the Lord to also liberate you from the death-dealing situations of your life. Although you cannot yet participate fully in the Lord's Eucharist, stay with us as a sign of our hope that all God's children will eat and drink with the Lord and work with His Spirit to recreate the face of the earth. Please return to your seat. We continue now with the collection and the preparation of gifts. Please join in singing number 783 in the hymnal, Unless a Grain of Wheat, number 783. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and good. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus' friend, and as Eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. 
Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Cyril and Methodius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to another the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. singing number 945, I am the bread of life, number 945.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Announcements. Join us today for Journey Cross and Crucifixion at 2 p.m. here in the church. This powerful, dramatic depiction of the way of the cross will transport you to ancient Jerusalem on Good Friday. See the bulletin for the complete schedule of Masses and services during Holy Week. Please remember to invite a family member or friend who has been away from the church to attend these liturgies with you. Experience the liberating grace of the Sacrament of Penance and Reconciliation next Monday, March 25th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., and again from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Every church in our diocese will be open for confessions that day. The Who Done It Mystery Dinner is quickly approaching. Tickets include the live performance dinner, beer, wine, soda, and dessert. Reservations must be received by Wednesday, March 27th. See bulletin for further details. Tickets will be on sale in the breezeway after Mass. Thank you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy and grant that what at your prompting they desire, they may receive by generous gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. As we conclude our celebration, please join in singing number 965, Forgive Our Sins, number 965.